Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the Mid Journey updates from January. First up, we have some new feature releases. We can now blend multiple mood boards together and even mix mood boards with style references. To blend multiple mood boards, just place your mood board codes after the profile parameter like this. Each mood board you add to the prompt will contribute equally to the results. In the future, they may allow us to adjust the weight of each mood board. One thing to be aware of when you're blending mood boards and style references is that the style weight parameter SW does not seem to be working correctly. It kind of just gets ignored no matter what value you put in. I've only noticed this when blending style references with mood boards. Hopefully that will get fixed soon. For a deep dive on mood boards, be sure to check out my previous video where I also included an experiment that shows you why and how mood boards are different from style references. Midjourney's image to text model called Describe is now available on the website. This has been available for a while on Discord by typing slash describe. There are two ways to use it on the website. First, you can right click on a Midjourney image and select Describe. Then go over to the Create page and you'll see four prompt suggestions. Submit one or all of these to generate new images. These are just prompt suggestions and they are not meant to exactly replicate the image that you've provided. The second way to use Describe is to drag your image over to the Imagine bar and you'll see the space pop up. Drop the image there and you'll get a new set of prompt suggestions. And just a side note, the website has had a different version of this available by selecting this little I button here on images that you've uploaded and it will provide descriptors for the images. You can click on any of these to add them to your prompt. This is a different feature and I'm not sure whether or not it will be phased out now that Describe has been implemented on the website. Next, let's talk about V7. When will it be released? I kind of feel like a broken record at this point, but the team has been hard at work. The release slipped another week or so due to some newly discovered issues. So now we're looking at a mid to late February release. There are some exciting things coming with this release and also some important things that you'll want to be aware of. First, what can we expect at launch? V7 will have better image quality, improved prompt understanding and adherence, better image coherence, especially for things like hands holding objects, and improved multilingual support. When V7 is released, some features may not be available right away. This is typical for new model releases. Midjourney usually rolls out additional feature updates during the first few weeks after a major new model release. One of the most exciting features that is expected to be available at launch is the new character reference system, which should be better at matching input characters regardless if the reference character was made with Midjourney or not. Handling multiple reference characters is also expected, but may not be available right at launch. Our personalization profiles will be compatible with V7, as will mood boards. V7 will have a style reference system. I expect that we'll be able to use images as style references at launch, but it's unclear what the SREF code system will look like for V7 and whether or not V6 SREF codes will be compatible with V7. A big reason why V7 has taken longer to release is that Midjourney has been making significant changes to their process behind the scenes. Once V7 is out, it will be much easier for them to quickly push out new features and updates. They're actually expecting six to eight major releases this year, so big expectations coming from Midjourney. Now for some exciting news about video. Midjourney is getting closer to releasing their first video features and they're taking an interesting approach. Instead of releasing one video model, they're working with some partners to give us different options. Initially, they'll likely release one or two partner models with some added Midjourney magic on top. This will help them better understand what the community actually wants. And then after V7 is released, they may resume training their own video models. They plan to have something released within the next month. The team is also getting pretty confident about releasing 3D soon. The first iteration of 3D might not be what you expect though. You'll take a 2D image and convert it to 3D, which will let you move the camera around to reframe your scene from different angles and render out the new image, which I think sounds really exciting. They're saying it should work well with both objects and scenes. Midjourney's Relaxathon is still going strong. This means that everyone can use relax mode right now to generate images super fast without using up your fast hours. You can even use parameters like repeat and permutation prompts. The Relaxathon will probably continue until V7 launches, so take advantage of it. Bigger image grids with batch size 8 is still on the agenda, but it's not clear if it will come before or after the V7 release. This will not be the equivalent of submitting a prompt twice. 
Batch 8 will involve an iterative process for the image generation and requires them to get a new interface on the website in place first. If you're curious about how my first full year on YouTube went, I posted a detailed breakdown over on Patreon that includes everything from subscriber growth to ad revenue stats. Speaking of stats, I can see that about 80% of you watching aren't subscribed yet, so if you're finding these updates helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel. I also do monthly prompt collections and have a bunch of mid-journey guides available over on Patreon, so check that out if that's something that you're interested in. I'll leave a link down below. So that's it for our January roundup. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.